Ultimately, a lot of men traditionally have been raised that their only job is to protect and to provide. So if a man is protecting and providing, then you should submit. But that misses a whole bunch of other things that we need in relationships like intimacy, mm -hmm. affection, emotional intelligence. It misses so much. What type of emo emotional support do people need in relationships in order to feel secure in that way? For a woman to say, like, yeah, I'll be submissive. For a man to say, like, yeah, I'll protect and provide. Like, what type of support needs to be provided? Emotional support to me. Okay, I have children. We have um, finances to maintain. We have a house to maintain. We both have careers to maintain. So, in 2022, in relationships, if we're both working, I want, I want the load shared. I want, um, you know what I mean? If, if I'm coming home and I'm cooking, I want you to take a day. I want to, I want to have a don't do that. Don't do day. And I want you to be like, you know what, babe, don't even worry about it. I got it today because it looks like you're tired. So if I'm supporting you when you come home and you're tired and you have all these things that you want to talk about that happen at work, I want the same respect. I want mutual respect. When we are talking about me and my partner and that emotional support, I need to feel safe enough to be vulnerable with you and tell you my deepest and innermost thoughts and feelings. And if I don't feel safe enough to do that, then I am not being emotionally supportive. This shows up a lot in couples counseling. When, they, when couples come in and trust has been broken in any way, and I'm not just talking about infidelity, I mean in any way. Like you have relationships where I tell you something as my husband and you go tell your mother, no, like this is, a situation between you and I, there are some things that are just for you and I. I understand talking to people to get their perspective or when you need just an outside voice to kind of bring you back and ground you a little bit. But if I tell you this is confidential and this is a space that I'm vulnerable in and then you go and tell your mom or talk to your best friend or something like that, that's a broken trust. And now I will never tell you anything else. The other thing too is like security in your relationship, I guess, or security with yourself. Oh. Say for Elijah, that's a big thing that he doesn't need those things to feel loved. Like he, he trusts Ashley enough and trusts their relationship enough to know that she loves him regardless of what action she's taken or not taken. Um, but for other people like me, it's like I actually need you to show me that you love me. Because in the past, I've had people tell me a lot that they love me or that they like me or want to be with me or whatever and haven't followed through on those actions. So when you use words and tell me, but there, there's no action, there's no time spent or like none of that to, to pair with it, then I don't believe you. And then I'm like, you don't really love me. You faking. That's my favorite word, isn't it? You faking. <laughs> I think sometimes the action is providing, um, yeah. you know, taking care of it. Like, uh, absolutely, yeah. I like that, you hit that one on the head. I like that one. Go ahead, keep going, buddy. Keep going. I got you, Marcus. The yeah, action no, is right. no. sometimes <laughs> providing, um, making sure that the kids are taken care of, making sure that you don't have to want for anything. Um, and for some people, that's a show of love. Mm -hmm. and it's not a show of affection, yeah. but it's so, a show of love. I hate you. I love you. I hate that I love you. 